My name is Simona Sekerova. I'm from Czech Republic and I'm a student. I study French literature and language and arts management at, uh, in Prague. I love animals. I really, I really do. And uh, this was an opportunity to me to learn more about them. Also, I understand more the conservation, the importance of conservation in the nature. I'm Steve Elbers, I'm from the Netherlands, I live near Amsterdam in the village of Diemen and in my daily life I'm a program manager at the Good Causes Foundation. This place gives us the unique possibility to combine a holiday in a wonderful country with um, doing good and by doing good I mean uh, volunteer work well, for wildlife and that, that makes you feel so good, really. When we came in, it, it's, a, it's a quite a diverse group, you know, from all kinds of countries, from Australia, Indonesia, uh, Finland, Sweden, Great Britain, Holland, and men, uh, women, all kinds of ages. We work in three different groups, which are birds, primates or Borneo. In Borneo there are orangutans, some bears, uh, gibbons. The job you're doing is cleaning the enclosures, feeding the animals. At first I just mm, started to do whatever I was told. Simple things like browsing, you know, go into the into the woods and collect uh, branches and leaves and stuff like that. And um, well, uh, the longer you are over here, the more you learn about the routines and the possibilities of uh, doing more than the routines. And the big and important part is to uh, make enrichment for the animals. The concept of enrichment is to uh, give animals opportunity to uh, express their natural behavior. Because for example, in nature, they spend a lot of time during the day looking for food. What we're trying to do is to slow down the food process. Uh, we may some different kind of toys, like interesting stuff they can play with. For example, these, we call them secret bottles. And uh, we made, we put flowers and peanuts, or some honey smeared flowers, different kinds they really like. It's another species, but still, we have so, uh, so many things in, in common and it's incredible. My name is Alexander Manesiwa and you can call me Alex. Well, I'm living in Jakarta for about uh, 10 years. Uh, but uh, I'm from the Ambon Malukas. I love nature and anything related with it. Like the uh, environment, the wildlife on inside of it. I raised and born was born in in front of the beach and that's why I keep in love with nature. I'm Céline Janico, I'm French and uh, I live in Belgium for 12 years now and uh, I'm a vet. I'm here because I like adventures and well I love every kind of animals. I worked uh, with uh, industrial animals before and uh, I really want to do now something more for the earth and the environment. I start the day by uh, taking care of the hospitalized animals. And uh, yeah, then when this is done, I usually help organize the clinic, uh, sort out uh, the medicine that we have here and the instruments and uh, I make documents on the computer to 
have everything listed and organized. Nowadays we see a lot of, a lot of children in Indonesia have the insufficient knowledge about wildlife and nature. Uh, they, they do realize about wildlife but maybe they have the uh, wrong direction related with it. The reason why the education department in Tashikoki, we try to make them better understanding because uh, I believe that the kids or children can be the uh, proper messenger to, the, to their families, to the local communities. There are some organized tours over here. So we went, for instance, to uh, a flower festival in a nearby town, Tomahon. It was so good, it was so great, you know. <laughs> All the people having fun. We visited the sugar factory, and that's another part of the Masarang Foundation. What they do over there is amazing, really. They grow sugar palm, and sugar palm gives a liquid that is so rich in sugar that not only you can make sugar out of it, but you can also turn it into biofuel. That was one of the things that, that shook me up, you know, and I saw a lot of people from the group where, yeah, it makes you think, so that there are other possibilities, there are possibilities to, well, to handle the natural resources, to find alternatives, for instance, for oil. For my day off, uh, like one week ago, uh, we went with uh, three other volunteers on a trip together to like really really small beautiful island with white sand beach. I climbed uh, with two other volunteers. I climbed Mount Clabat, uh, a volcano. We also went to uh, the Tankoko National Park. See the uh, the monkeys in the wild, the macaques. Yeah, that, that is so special because over here you see the, how uh, all the animals are caged. Uh, you have to take care of them, they depend on you, that's why you have to get up early, do your work well. And when you go to the national park, you see them in the wild, you see them free, you see them in a, with different behavior. And that's when you think, ah. That's why I'm doing this. To be the new one here, it's uh, for a few days it's a little bit hard, but then yeah, when you start to know people, uh, it's wonderful because uh, everyone is really motivated to do new stuff and uh, work really hard for the animals and for, uh, for the center and uh, yeah. And the communal life in the volunteer house is uh, really good. I don't have any problems in the room, even though I'm sleeping with 12 other girls <laughs> in one room. It's no problem. The food is great. The, the people are really nice. I think the most important role for, uh, of volunteers over here is bringing in new ideas. We enrich the organization. You can contribute uh, in your own way because they lo they're looking for a very different kind of people. They are open to any initiative from the volunteers. It's a really good experience and all the animals and the team deserve it. I really love it here because it's a different things from different city, different place I lived before in Jakarta. So I guess, yeah, I totally love this place. <laughs>